Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, to my channel, to your channel. It's a channel. It, it's a channel. And my brain is crumbled today. My my brain is literally, it needs help. It needs an urgent help. <laughs> today we're going to look at Baby Monster Part 2. We're going to look at the solo performances. I'm very excited because I didn't have enough time and opportunity to really watch them in detail and separately. You're really able to look at whose potential is to be a group player, a team player and uh, how different voices can contribute to the final look. But here we're going to look at their solo stages. So I'm excited. Let's get into it. But before we start, do you like covers? Do you like to sing covers? Baby girl, we've got so much in common. Because I do. I do like to sing covers. But you know what I do not like? If I have this muffled vocal backtrack level of comeback stage i don't like that and that's where our sponsor comes in play today's video is sponsored by lal.ai and they will provide you with the best instrumentals for your covers personally my biggest issue with covers is that if you want to keep up with girlies on youtube it's almost impossible the song comes out on thursday and within 24 hours you've got an internet full of covers so it's really hard to get your instrumental ASAP and in a really, really good quality without you commissioning it. Or you have to settle down for, again, the previously mentioned really muffled, low quality instrumental. And we honestly don't want either. So let's look at the platform that can provide you with an instrumental fast and in a very high quality. Lala.ai is a next generation vocal remover and a music source separation service for fast, easy and really precise stem extraction. You can remove vocals, you can remove instrumentals, drums, bass, and just get really quality track without any quality loss. You can download lalal.ai applications for convenient use on all your devices, including Mac and Windows. It uses high quality stem splitting based on the world's number one AI power technology, and it helps you upload up to 20 files to split into stems. So if you want your karaoke to sound really authentic and you don't want it to sound like it's a track from 90s, which no shade, but maybe not for the new Stray Kids song, you know, you want to use something that is going to give you really crystal clear quality and fast. The clock is ticking. Cover market is fast. <laughs> Lalals.ai really got you on this one and I'm super happy that I found them as well because I did struggle quite a lot to find really high quality instruments without waiting for weeks for someone to clean it up really nicely and upload it on the internet. So please don't forget to check out lalal.ai. It's going to be linked down in the description and in the pinned comments. And now without any further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, let's go Ion. I'm excited about Ion. Um, she has a lot of really raw talent, which you know that I do not like to use that word too much. Talent, raw talent, super talented. Because talent does not have to mean that much. But she has a lot of really, really, you know, beautiful potential. And one thing that I really enjoy about Ion is that she's still very, very young and she's still figuring a lot of things out. So when I bring up something about her singing, no need to get upset, okay? You guys, sometimes you get upset about stuff that is just constructive criticism. So do not get upset. If you get easily upset, maybe let's not continue watching because I will be very honest with you throughout this video, okay? About every single singer. Again, just a constructive criticism, but there will be some. So if you get offended, please. Yeah, one thing that I've mentioned before was that issue with air. She's dumping quite a lot of air, but on one hand, you can argue that it's stylistic. Mm, sure, there's not a problem with that, but she's consistently doing that, which I think if she's going to tuck in her air a tiny bit more, I think still it's caused by a stress because I see this 
times and times again with the singers that get stressed from live performing that air is just you know like when you get breathy like it's usually caused by the stress from the performance so i think the more she's going to perform it's going to get more and more balanced because if i when i heard her sing in the studio where it was not half as stressful but the camera was still rolling she didn't get that issue she was perfectly fine and her kind of air clean tone ratio was very balanced so i think it's mostly uh the influence of the stress from the live performing probably even because of the last evalu evaluation concept and everything so i know that she's not english native and there are a lot of singers who are not english native i'm not english native and yes it is you know, it is unfortunate that if you're not English native and you want to sing in English, you have to learn how to phrase and properly pronounce in English so you can be very clearly understood. So these two things kind of married here, unfortunately, and they made the intro, the verse, slightly muffled for her. So if you do not really heavily focus on what she's actually saying, you're going to have a trouble here. I think the song is going to fit her though, don't get me wrong, but I think the biggest, like brightest and coolest moment is going to come in the chorus. Let's see it again. A lot of dynamic uh, fluctuation there too. It's getting better. Like when she got through that hurdle of that first verse where she was... It also, I think, what can contribute very heavily is that with the bigger voices at the beginning they do struggle a little bit with balancing their dynamics so the dynamics is how loud or how low you go usually in the intro you want to have a soft introduction like you don't want to overdo it in the intro because you want to have the time and space to develop right and uh, she had a very massive fluctuation her name is da -da 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 so a lot of dynamic fluctuation she was almost trying to handle her own voice which is really cool again very good voice it takes a little bit of a time and experience to really be able to dose it correctly this is very good here what did i say when she's gonna get into the verse uh into the chorus she's gonna go with a full clean tone it's gonna be perfect because she's gonna include her support she's gonna utilize her air correctly so she's not gonna be just dumping air she's gonna go with a nice clean supported tone it's gonna be great let's hear it This is her comfort zone. I think she cut through that vocal break very nicely. If you hear that flip into the head voice, that's basically cutting right through the vocal break. The song is arranged to do that. So that sounds really, really pretty. And uh, she has a very good control over that vocal break there. I like that fry into that head of the 
good control over that vocal break. So those kind of flips over it, up and down, head voice, back to the chest voice. You have to have a very well supported chest voice. It has to have its mass. So that flip actually has that good effect. Nice. Stylist so is definitely an interesting choice. She went with a full voice, and I kind of expected every turn after that that she's going to go with a full voice. We're going to see. Good job. If I would make a stylistic change, it would be that I would put the full one, the full run that she did there somewhere in the middle towards the end or maybe even the final one, just so we can get that final big kick out of that song. That song is really cool. If you can handle it, it's a very you know, effective song for the audience. And you can see how the stress goes away. Like literally, you can see where she starts to relax. She's much more comfortable in a supported, heavy, belty sound. And when she gets there, she's back in her zone. So that intro, I think that Hyon's gonna struggle for a while with those like a little intros and just getting into her zone, which is perfectly normal, normal for a very young singer. But the moment she gets in that zone and gets in a comfortable place, she's killing it. She's doing very, very well. Um, she has a good control over her vocal break. I mentioned that before. The moment where she goes with a clean tone, she's just, she's perfectly fine. What is really interesting is that with most singers, they struggle with the opposites, right? So they struggle with anything that is belty, high, needs to be powerful, needs to be supported. They get pitchy, they strain, whatever. She doesn't have that issue. She has kind of like the opposite issue to know how to build the dynamics correctly, how to calm herself down before the performance, not during the performance. I think she's going to do really, really well because all of those things are basically going to happen when she's going to perform more because more performing are going to, it's just going to desensitize you to stress from the performing. So she's going to, she's going to be fine. I love her. I'm excited to see her developments. I'm excited to see her thrive, especially in Baby Monster, but maybe, hopefully, one day we're going to get some solo as well, so I'm excited. Okay, second one, we've got a Haram. And pick up your feelings. Ooh, uh, she's got so much presence. You said that I've been acting different, yeah, funny how I finally fit the script, yeah But you don't want to solve a dip, and yeah You're so sneaky, how I call you slipping up You're off the lease from me, my keys no more. She has cool voice. End of the story. We know that. Like, she has a cool voice. She has a tiny bit of a huskiness. I think for the rapper slash singer part, she's perfect. She's got a strong presence. I would love a tiny bit more cleaner pronunciation. She's closing up the rest of the phrases, basically a tiny little bit. But I like her voice. I hope that we're going to get a little bit more for her. Do you see she's disconnecting for the rest of the phrase, like for the second part of the phrase? She does tend to disconnect a little bit. It can be also issue with maybe a little bit work with a microphone. That she's like, you know, that she's kind of leaving the microphone. Very pretty run. That was a nice, effortless run. I love her fries and like a little bit of restriction. She does it very similarly to Havasa from Mamamoo. 
And I love Hawassa, so. Energy, look at my chest. I'm too thick, I ain't got the roof for extra baggage. Don't forget to come and pay for you. Feelings, don't leave no pieces. Feelings, that was such a pretty little riff there. Uh, good supported upper tone. Feelings, she was not trying to strain it. Feelings, but feelings. Feelings. Don't leave no pieces. You need to hurry and pick a yo. Feelings. Ooh, on ooh, it's very, um, very lucky to do it on ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm a feeling for peace. I need a memories. All that is, you can keep it wide. A tiny bit more openness. Feelings and don't need more pieces. A tiny bit more opener, and her voice would be able to translate so much better out. I think she has a very pretty voice, and her runs are really good. If she's gonna just release a tiny bit of John because she's already heard feelings. Na, 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 na. It's one thing that every vocal coach is gonna tell you that you need to open, just so that voice can translate out and it can travel out. If she would release her jaw a tiny little bit, it's gonna get so much better traction in her voice because it's really pretty. You're looking forward to me, right, right Now I take the weight of me Wow, good climb, I didn't expect this So Right, right Now I take the weight of me so she passed that vocal break really fast there. That was a priority. She didn't try to go into like more chesties, like somewhere that he... I, I didn't make a vocal break there. But she passed it straight away. Listen to it. No, I take the weight of me. That was a vocal break, right? Me, me. She tried to pass it as soon as possible so she could get into that more stable head voice and head mix and give us that gorgeous because once she was over the vocal break there she's fine she's fine it's then just about her range and how she can support it she changed from e to u because u is much more suitable and just much more practical vowel to use here And nice i like how she was kind of dividing it because she made that one massive slide and ah, 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 ah. that was like two little two taps i like that yeah, a little texture a little growl mm -mm. I like the choice for her. They avoided way too high belts. So all the like super high belting was not included. And uh, like a more of a chest mix. They didn't do that one as well either. They did a nice solid chest. And then they made her basically cut right through her vocal break into the head voice and the head mix. And made a good combo of that it is very very typical for r&b so it was also very authentic to the genre good they use her strengths for sure good i would be proud next one we've got ruka astronaut in the ocean Just get this straight for it, sick and I'm a work. Even if I don't get paid for forget your I'm a get everything that I This is good pronunciation. This is clean phrasing. You can tell. Da da dee da down, but the da da down down. 
right there and a good good tension in her voice uh uh tadadina down down good this is a born rapper right there Just get this straight for a second, I'm a work. Even if I don't get paid for forget you, I'm a get everything that I do is electric. I'm a keep it in a much and keep it muffin like Eh, hey, put this thing in the brand, but I know I don't blend everything that I say, and I see the plan, let me elevate this in the prank. Have you walking on the prank? Rhymes, crimes, break your spine. They say that I'm so fine. You can never match my grind. Please do not know what's my time. Good timing. Great phrasing. You can tell that she has a very good inner feeling for rhythm and uh, it's pretty effortless for her like she's not spasmatic about it da, 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 na, 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 na. you know like some people are like oh my god <laughs> just you're falling on that beat for your dear life like she feels it she feels it she feels it with her whole body what you know about rolling down in a deep when your brain goes numb you get cold and bitter when these people talk too much but they think it's so much and yet i feel like an astronaut in the ocean bring it back no death do you know why dream won't stop without me just baby you're not i'm the game all of my ties and trap you put your money on one in a million she is also a nice frontal placement, which is going one on the man, one on the now, wow, wow, which is good because if someone is rapping just from the chest placement, it can be pretty limiting. So if you need to work with your pitch and just like really heavily change the fluctuations and be a little bit more animated, the frontal placement is going to be good because it can also give you that edgy sound. A wow, wow, right there. I'm ready for the fits in my 80, go get it and dead and in bed and in your hand, the best to ever do it. Come and come and come, I ain't gonna bite you. What you got to, huh? Feel the bass go. Boom, boom, boom. This is a very goofy part of this song. Boom, boom. But she's doing very well with it. That's not her problem. <laughs> That girl, that girl has personality. Oh my god, she did so well. I think some people are actually saying that she has a lisp. I hear it from time to time, the lisp. I don't mind it. Do you guys mind it? Do you think rapper can have a lisp? I, I personally think that they absolutely can. I think it's very actually charming. I'm not sure. I think this uh, Ruka was the one that had a uh, lisp, right? I don't mind it at all because, weirdly enough, her phrasing with a lisp is so much better <laughs> than half of the people I sometimes hear. And uh, yeah, she has great presence. She's really cool. I like her a lot. Okay, so this is one of the people I was super excited about, which is Chiquita. She's going to be singing Traitor. Chiquita, she was like the one person that I really, really noticed from the second vocal group in the last video i i really fell in love with her i was like wow okay she really brings an attention to her okay like she has that something that something super special so i'm excited to see her on her own she's so cute too A lot of people call this singing in cursive, which I find super fucking funny because it's I don't know what, I don't know what, 
It's a lot in the front. It's using quite a lot of fry there. People love it. It's a very stylish singing for this time. I think it's a, a style, a stylization that is super, super popular right now. I am not maybe the biggest fan of it, to be fair, because I do like when people are a little bit more natural with their voice, but I don't mind it. I fully understand that's the stylization that is currently super, super popular. And unless it's not overdone, I think it's pretty, pretty good. She's doing well. She's not doing... Which some people will do. Like, oh my God, some people can bring that style so freaking far. This is still very, very cute. Cool. I always knew that you talk to her, maybe did evil wars. So she's basically just uh, na, 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 and she's releasing it into a tiny bit of an airy tone, so it's making it soft and sweet. What is there? It's just like very, very super short. In of, a super cut short. I, I personally know that song, but know well enough to know exactly it's there. Why are we cutting so short? How you said you were friends. Now we sure as hell don't look You betrayed me. And I know that she never feel so. She does a lot of flips there. You betrayed me. A little kind of vocal flip there. You betrayed me. I think it's pretty. I like vocal flips. I'm a big fan of vocal flips, actually. I don't mind them. I think vocal flips are very, very cool little embellishment that is helping also the singer to stay really grounded in the tone. One thing that she's slightly struggling in here is actually projecting her voice. You can see that she's trying to give it that power that the instrumental is giving her, but she's struggling to get that kick into it, right? I think it is mainly about her getting a little bit more comfortable with being loud. One thing that a lot of singers starting people that are starting singing are super surprised especially on my lessons are like the singing is loud i'm like yes singing is loud you have to be comfortable with getting slightly louder and a lot of people would like to sing like a half volume most of the time and it takes a tiny bit of a time for them to be just comfortable with projecting the sound out and being loud and being powerful with their voice I think she's very, very sweet. And I think she has the potential to be able to put down and project that sound. She just needs to really trust her God with this. You me. This was beautiful, for example. This was good. You see that movement is there. It took you two weeks to go and get her. Which was the second one? Go on and take her. But it's it's translating in her body movement. It's not translating in her voice if you listen to it closely. This was good. Go on and take her. We're not getting it. Go on and take her. Take her or take her, whatever the you know stylization you want to do, it needed that kick. And then she's trying to do it. She's just a little bit controlling over her voice. 
a tiny bit of relaxation and just her being confident and just let it run wild and trusting her guts and trusting her voice and it's gonna do the trick you didn't cheat, but you're, you're gonna still, cheat you're still a traitor Look at her face. She pretty much suffered through that tone, but the tone is not translating that suffering, right? I think she has a lot of potential, but she needs to trust it. She needs to believe in it. Ah, you can go there. It's perfectly fine. It's not that high of a tone. She did pretty okay. You don't hear a strain in her voice or anything, but you can see how much she's just struggling with her own self. The sound, the voice is not translating that struggle that we can see on her face, right? She did well, but she <laughs> needs to believe that she did well, you know? Good. I think that when she's gonna let go and she's gonna really let her voice run free and she's gonna give it a lot of trust and just power and she's gonna start to also translate that voice out she can be really really good i think she can be a really good belter as well her voice was pretty stable there if she would really relax in and let it open into nice gorgeous belts that would be great I think she has a potential to be really strong in belting. I would love to see that actually. Overall, I think this was a really beautiful cover. Like it was very fragile. I think that fragility that uh, she has in her that youth and that innocence and fragility was beautifully kind of translating into that performance i liked it again i need her to trust herself unleash that let go which honestly a lot of people are like a da just do it it's not easy it takes sometimes very long time for people to stop being hyper controlling over everything they do and let it run smoothly a little bit nice very well done good job next one we've got asa me myself and i i like that song it needs power i've seen better days better towns my love is all your stars and you bring me down can't seem to get it right this crazy life she has a little some modulation here in the throat um, da -da -da, da -da -da -da. a tiny bit of elevated larynx just a tiny little bit broken promises not realized and that's what i can see out of your privacy plus the Okay, I was not sure if she's going to be a rapper or a singer. I just wanted to say that it was a solid start. And uh, she has, again, a little bit of a modulation. Modulations are not bad or wrong. Modulations can be very good. There are singers who are modulating their whole life. That's perfectly fine. Interesting change. It's like two personalities, actually. Because she's not modulating in her rap. See? Da -na 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 -na. Da, 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 da. you know like it, it's a big jump and not just in a personality but again she's not modulating much in her rap so far it's a good tension in my opinion the phrasing is uh also pretty good but i think the level at where she's holding herself like she's not going for too much of uh pitch fluctuation but the level that she chose for her voice is good like she has quite a full color there
She could, she could lean into the wee a little bit more. I think a little bit more animated style, like her being much more kind of reckless, animated, fun. That would really fit her. And I think she is, she's gonna get there. Like, I think she's gonna get there. It's just me, myself, and I right until I die, cause I got me for life. Good, good kind of movement across the registers because you're in a head voice and you're going down to the chest. Even when the night is go, I got the fire in my soul. I don't need anything to scare me through the night, except that beat is in my heart and it's keeping me. Good projection. She's singing out. She's not singing for herself. I don't need anything. She's nicely projecting it out. She's not holding it. I don't need anything. So she's not overly stylizing it at all. She's focusing on it being supported, open and out. And that's enough. That's good. That's exactly what we want. I like her. Very versatile. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted from her in the first part. This was playful. This also utilized a little bit of a conversational style at the very end, like da 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 da. You know, like you are basically utilizing a natural speech intonation there. That one was cool. I like this part. Damn. Damn. This one for me is probably one of the most versatile members so far. She did very, very well. Like she did not necessarily like had a overtly difficult vocal piece, like probably the singers that had that are supposed to be like main vocals and everything but i liked her she handled her own and she handled it very well she got a nice supported tones i think she she's gonna develop this way like this direction she's gonna do pretty freaking fantastic okay next one we've got rora someone you loved very well utilizing her voice you can see that it's soft but it's not air dumping you know it's nicely balanced so it's still very soft you can get the warmth through it but it's not overtly airy So pretty. It's all or nothing, really got a way of driving me crazy. I need somebody to hear, somebody to know, somebody to have, somebody to pull. It's easy to say, but it's never the same. I guess I kind of like the way you know they're the pain. Now beautiful work with dynamics this is a fantastic intro this is how a really good experienced singer would conduct their intro if you go back and like look at any really seasoned k-pop singers and look at sea of hope or i don't know begin again stages whatever you're gonna see and they're gonna see them opening their performances it's gonna sound similar like this you don't want to lose attention of your audience but you want to start slow build it up give it a slight slow dynamic growth you know this is very well done good intro one of the best ones in here probably the best intro that we've got really good
Beautiful. Oh, I got chills. See, she has probably the first performance where I forgot that I'm supposed to be here analyzing. And that's when I know that it's a good audience. Uh, it's a good performance when I forgot myself because I'm always looking at stuff analytically for you guys. But you made me forget that I'm making a video. That's how you know this. That is connected performance. Beautiful. And you're not here to give me fairy I'll in my car down and then you put it wrong. I was getting kind of used to be so why you so much emotion. Good job. Beautifully open. That was so brilliant and vibrant. was very fry there oh my god oh. yes the fry was very dominant there uh, but oh my god how she captured that moment she absolutely used it for her i don't know maybe she was a slightly tired her voice sounds a tiny bit tired in the lower parts because if you go very low uh, if your voice is overused and a little tired, you will start to have more and more prominent fry, especially in your lower tones, right? And then when you're going to go up in the more pelty parts, it's going to clean up. So I feel like her voice is slightly tired. But in this case, it served her so well. It worked so well for her. Damn girl, she knows how to sell it. Wow, I'm emotional. Good. I like that. I was waiting for one moment for her to just hold the belt. That would be beautiful. That would be just stylistic, though. It has nothing to do with an actual thing that happens. And um, her upper placement. Na -na 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 get it through it all. How high is it? And here it's very similar placement to mine there someone you love. Someone you love. so pretty and nicely placed a, a little bit uh, it's a little pressurized here just particularly here opening it nicely if she would hold it and save me this is what we would get but she save me nice constant openers good 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 oh, and you're not here to give me fairy doll I'll leave my car down and then you put the wrong I personally I think it was a cute little switch into the head voice I would go for like a long belt because I think she would kill it <laughs> just the one reason is that i think she would completely finish us if they would be like oh, let my guard up. like a long held tone would be oh i would ascent Damn, that girl is connected to her emotions. For, you know, one big issue with the very young singers is that they are not really connected to their emotions. 
You know why? Because they're young. <laughs> they're basically teenagers. They do not know how to connect their emotions on that level yet. Or it's very imbalanced. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's all over the place. So if you have someone so young being able to connect their emotions so well, it's really rare. She did a fantastic job because she she persuaded me. She delivered I just wanted to listen. I want to go back and listen. You know, I want to listen to it one more time without talking to you so I can focus on it. I can give it a nice little experience, you know? I liked it. Very good job. Like, Rora, like, I completely switched my attention now from <laughs> other people to Rora. Like, I, I, I'm i looking at her now. I'm like, you know, I'm like, okay, okay. I will go back to um stuck in the middle and i'm just gonna be searching for her now because <laughs> i need to hear her and we've got farita all of me farita is super sweet super talented girl what would i do without your small mouth draw me and you kick me out you got my beautiful introduction and you can see that the phrasing is super clean her pronunciation is very good like you understand every single word so clean what's going on in that beautiful mind i'm on your magical mystery ride and now beautiful so phrasing oh my god Nice job. Oh my god. You're crazy and I'm out of my Good. That was very balanced. Very pretty. I was actually surprised how effortlessly she dropped into that low tone. Cause all of me lies only you love your curves and all your edges. I like how she the smiliness that she has, she's translating into her voice, right? Cause all of me it loves all of you this kind of without this and she goes into her corners and just gives it a little bit of a brightness because all of me loves all of you if you close your eyes you can tell that she's smiling are your perfect imperfections good my uh, good to work with microphones too That ear. I give my all, I give my all to you. You don't want to suffocate that E or press it. I give my, you don't want to hear this. Give, give. You want to be nice place in a jump. Give my all, give my all of me or all of you, whatever. I begin even when I lose a winner. I give you all. Nice cut right through the vocal break. You could hear the flip. Ready. You give me all you. Give me all of you. Oh, cuts on the nice. So we've got those nice cuts for the vocal break. You could hear that flip. Give me all of you. And now we're gonna go for retail. Her only thing is that when she goes very, very, very loud into the belty space and stuff, her tone of quality gets really, really bright. It's very, very dominant. So the only thing that I watch with the singers like that is to for them to have that tone of quality under control. Like they understand how much pressure they can put in their voice without it starting to sound like really, really, really like almost too much. So they have to have a lot of control over the volume, a lot of control over the resonance and stuff. Are you, oh, cards on the table, it would be even more pretty if we would open those words. Cards on the table. So you see the difference. The cards on the table. We will. Right? And she closed those vowels a tiny bit too much, which got her cards on the table, table, right? It gives 
the vowel openers are super important. They're gonna give it the whole other vibe. Whoa, That although was much better because it forced her to open a little bit more. Although is hard, and it panned out beautifully. Nice calm down. Good work with dynamics. Love your curves and all your edges. All your perfect imperfections. I give you all. So pretty. You give me all of you, all. This was super professional. Like this was super, super professional. She knows her angles. She knows how her face looks when she's singing. She knows how to work with microphone. I think from all the whole group, she knows how to work with microphone the best. Because if you can hear, she was really utilizing. She was not just having the microphone but she was utilizing the microphone for the good dynamic of that you know the good dynamics of the sound so really well done but we knew that Freddy is going to do well uh, she is one of the front runners in, a, in the vocal department of baby monster but um one thing that she needs to watch is this open vowel so opening 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 and maybe utilizing a little bit more resonance in other areas just to warm her voice a little bit more up because it can get like really edgy and very bright in a very high spaces in the belt spaces so if you utilize a little bit more maybe chest resonance or give it a little bit more width you're gonna get a little bit more warmth into that tone which i think will benefit her really nicely so those were the solo performances i wow some of them really blindsided me i did not expect some of the some of the people to perform this way and so well and just ah it's super cool to see such a young singer is having so much confidence and doing such big things like oh my god who of us had this much you know confidence at their age that we would stand on the stage and do this like it's really really cool and um i um i'm gonna be thinking if i should do the part three where i'm gonna finish the series let me know i'm also kind of planning that maybe it would be cool to watch the entirety of the series on my patreon if you would be interested in that and then definitely let me know because i would like to see all the nuances and how the show went by so we're gonna see let me know if yes if you want to support me on my patreon so support my work definitely check it out it's gonna be linked down in the description you've got up to eight extra reactions on the patreon per month and you vote them in so whatever you want i will be reacting to but let's see what we're gonna do in a part three and uh yeah definitely don't forget to subscribe right here here is the video that you actually recommends for you and here is rest of my korean reactions please stay safe and healthy i'll see you next time Bye bye